Hi, I'm Christine with Valara, and thanks for joining me today. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about pH and alkalinity in water. And one of the ones, one of the quick ways that we can show you what your pH is in the drinking water that you might be currently drinking, and what we have in the Velocqua unit behind me, is by using pH drops. You simply fill the water glass and add a few drops of this, and it'll come out a specific color. Let's talk about what the colors mean for a moment. First of all, when you start looking at the colors, the pH chart is from 0 to 14, or from red to purple. 0 being the most acidic, and 14 being the most alkaline. The block water behind us is about a 9.5 alkalinity. So that will be in the royal purple area. And things that are very acidic, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, will be down here on the red and maybe orange, maybe yellow, green. And if you're neutral, it's going to be in the blue-green area. And very much like your standard municipal water or public water would be blue-green. Now, one of the things I want you to understand is the acid water is actually very unhealthy for you, and the alkaline water is actually very healthy. So acid equals unhealthy, alkaline equals healthy. So let's take a look at some of our favorite waters. Well, one of the things I'd like to show you first is soda. We're going to put a little soda in this cup, and we're simply going to drop a couple of pH drops in there for you. Wow, you can see automatically that it is very acidic. Not that that's any surprise to any of us, right? We all know that soda isn't the world's best thing for us. But one of the things I'd like to show, too, is just something, the standard bottle water. Oftentimes you go to a concert or the ballpark, and this is water that shows up. And we're going to put a couple of drops of that in there. And take a look at this. That water is almost as acidic as the soda water we had. Look at that. In fact, it might be a little bit more acidic. Pretty amazing. Let's take a look at some Fiji water. Now, this Fiji water is known as some of the best bottled water you can buy. It's very expensive, too. About 3 to $4 a bottle. It tends to be neutral in pH. So we'll take a look at that and see where we're at. Yeah, to a certain extent, it's pretty neutral. Neutral to a little bit acidic, not too bad. But it's definitely a better choice, but not perfect. One of the things I like to show people is this is called Cha Aqualine Water. So this is actually being market it as alkaline water. So let's take it and see what it comes out as. And the chaw water is actually not alkaline, but it's neutral. So that's kind of interesting. At least it's, it's neutral, but it's not certainly a 9.5 or a 10, which is what they advertise. Then we have the Aquafina type water. And this isn't one of those crunchy plastic bottles that's pretty doggone toxic to your system, which we talked about in our last video. Let's take a look at it. Wow, and it's also very, very acidic. That's very, very interesting. And then this is like from a big, like, you know, big box store. This is the $3.99 a case water. A lot of families drinking this. And this water is still acidic, but not as bad as some of the other ones we've looked at. More blue, you know, kind of greeny yellow. And then there's this aqua hydrate, and this is supposed to have a 9 plus pH as well, so this is also alkaline. And let's just see what it comes out as. Wow. And it's definitely more towards the acidic side as well, and it's supposed to be a 9.5. So if it's a 9.5, then it should be up here in the purple and blue range, but it's not. Let's take a look at some tap water. And here's some tap water for you. And there it is. It's neutral. And by law, it should be neutral. And so it is. So actually, some of these are better. This is better choice alkalinity-wise compared to some of the bottled water you're drinking. Let's take a look at the Velocqua unit. We'll simply get some water out of here. There we go. Look at that. Brilliant purple. So that is certainly a 9.5 alkaline water. And even some of the things it said they were didn't come out this color. So this is one way that you can test for pH and getting whether you have alkaline water or not. These pH drops come in every block unit that you purchase, and you're able to test your water on a regular basis and also test the things that you have. And You know, you can have a little fun impressing your family and friends with this knowledge. So I thank you for joining me today and simply test for pH and learn that it's better to be alkaline than acid.